four. <laughs> Take 55. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're pretty obsessed with board games. Um, today, we are attempting our first ever playthrough. Woo! need to know about this playthrough um don't rely on it for rules of any sort whatsoever um we're not particularly strong at those things are we no we'll get to <laughs> no, no, no. also this is our first time ever attempting this so hopefully it'll be good um if you've got any feedback you'd like to leave that's constructive um i'd love to hear from it in the comments below and today um thank you to our patreon supporters who chose that we should do our first ever playthrough of the quacks of Quidlinburg and yes, Quidlinburg. Quidlinburg. I just read it off the side and of the what's box. A quack? a quack, as we all know, is not a duck. It is in fact a crazy doctor. What did ducks speak? <laughs> ducks speak. Maybe, maybe you could say that. For those of you who don't know anything about quacks, I'll just explain a little bit. Um, so as you can see, we have potions. Yeah. And we are the type of mad people who are trying to create the best potion. A snake oil salesman. Ah, come on. My potion might actually cure somebody. But my potions make people fall in love. Oh, that's it's the best type of potion. The best type of potion. <laughs> Fair enough. So what we'll... Well, I was actually, I'll explain more as we go on. But as you can see, we're making potions. And we're going to explain the process, I suppose, as you, we go through kind of all the turns and stuff. Okay, so okay. before you touch your bag, yep. we've got to turn one. See, we have bags. I'll tell them a fortune teller at of every turn. Yeah, there's a fortune teller to tell us something cool. So and what's it say? It says, the pot is filling up. Move your droplet forward one space. So as you can see, there's a droplet in the middle of your potion. And what you're trying to do is build your potion all the way around in a big circle. So the further you get with your potion, the more victory points you get and the more money to and spend. And you don't want your potion to explode. No. And how do you get your potion to go around and round like this? Well, what you do is you start with a bag of stuff. Woohoo. And let's see what we draw. Oh, you drew one. Okay, so we'll explain the blossoms. I also drew a blossom. So as you can see, it has a number on it, which determines how far it'll go around the pot. Um, but these particular, I want to, I hate calling them cherry blossoms. The cherry blossoms. I don't care. Cherry blossoms are pink in my head. But this is a cherry blossom. And you can, if you play more than seven of these in your entire potion, your potion will explode. Um, and that's a bad thing. You don't want your potion to explode. So you play these things from your bag. So your potion can go round and round. So orange, that's nice and safe. And as you can see, you get more victory points and more money the further you go. So the question is really, how far do you want to go, Brian? How um, far are you going to take your potion? Stop. So there's a set um, number of things in your bag to begin with. Oh, that was not a good draw. So one, two, three. So you start with, it actually says in here on the little board, how many of those cherry blossoms are in your bag and how many non things. So three and two is five. I could draw the two and make seven and still be okay because I yeah. drew the three. So what did I draw? I draw the two. One, two. So that puts me at exactly at seven blossoms. So I didn't go over seven. So my yeah. potion did not explode. So I'm not going to play any more cards in my um, cards. You hear me? Tokens out of my bag right now. So okay. how did yours go? Did you go better? Exactly. As you can see, we take um, simultaneous turns. Yeah. So the game's really, really quick. And so we go through this series then of what happens after you build your potion. So did your potion explode? No. So, so you, you get, get a bonus stuff. You get a bonus stuff, yeah. Oh, yeah, you got oh. two victory points. Two ha, victory ha, ha. Points. So up you go. Yeah. Two victory points. And I will have... A pumpkin. Yes, I got a pumpkin. So I get one of these pumpkin tokens into my bag to use later. Do we to get richer? <sighs> Not really. So then the next phase um, asks you to check if you have any of these colors Black, in your green, on your table. Purple. No. Nope. You would none of these on the table. I did not land in the ruby space. So you, the space after your last place um, chip is what you can't. Mm. So this, some... <laughs> this is Brian, by the way. <laughs> in case, yeah, I didn't even get to No, I'm the you... disembodied voice. Yes, disembodied voice of Brian. Happens to be my better half. Um, so yeah, so we get no rubies because we didn't land in anywhere that yeah, says so we have get rubies. Two victory points. One, so you two. get two victory points. I also get two victory points. Yeah. And then I get ten money to spend. How much did you get? Ten. So as you can see up here at the top, it explains what all of the different coloured chips do that you put in your bag, and you can use your money to buy them. Yeah. So as so, you know, I buy first. 
Can you press press the next one? Okay, cool. So you get to buy the first one you want. You went for the black one. Yeah. Okay. Um, So the black one says, if you draw as many uh, black chips as the other player, you can move your little droplet in the middle forward. So it makes it easier to make your potion bigger. It also says, if you draw more black chips than the other player, you get a ruby as well as that ability. So that's pretty strong. I see what you're doing with that. Yeah. I have a problem. I like blue. Because blue like this is kind of like blue and magic the gathering where you get to draw things. So the blue one says... Those are my spells. Hey, not quite. So the blue one says, I get to draw chips from my bag and I may place one of them into my pot. So I'll get to look first before I draw. So I have 10 money. So yeah, I'm going to get a blue two right out of here and it goes straight into my bag. It's like a powerful strong today. I know. So what's next on our list of things to do? So we move forward this. Now we introduce a new type of chip. Yep. Oh, uh, yes. Well, we, if we had gems, we could do stuff. We don't there. have gems yet. When we have gems, we'll explain gems. So now we get yellows. So <gasps> I love yellows. They're my second favorite color. So this one says, if the previously played chip was white, which is those blossom things, you can put it back in the bag, yeah. making your potion go even further. Unless so, it explodes. So we've moved ourselves one, up one, so yeah. now we reveal a new fake card. What good things will happen this round? At the end of the round, all flasks are refilled for free. Ooh, so as you may have seen or not seen, we have little flasks next to us, and these are really, really cool. Because yeah. what they do is, they say when you draw a cherry blossom as long as it's not one that would explode your potion you can flip your potion over and put that card back into your bag so it's kind of like an early save it's not a late yeah. save but it's really handy and yeah. i mean so this friend will get to flip it back meaning i'm totally going to use it yeah <laughs> okay off we go so one two so as you can imagine the more rounds you play we play nine rounds your bag is going to get better and better hopefully hopefully assuming you go shopping I'm already at three. Okay. Not good. That back. And the green one. Green ones give me rubies if they're last or next to last, I believe. Pumpkins never do anything except be pumpkins. And uh, you always start with a pumpkin. Yeah, I think that's. Two. So I'm up to four. Four and three would still make seven. Yeah. Yeah, we we cool. Pumpkin. Dun, 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 dun. You can see I'm the sort of player who takes one of everything. So I'm gonna so this would be one too many. So I'll flip my potion. I'll take this one, I'll put it back in the bag. Of course the problem is you can probably draw the same thing again. But let's see if I get anything different. <laughs> I'm gonna work one, one, two, three. So three and two is five and two is seven. So I'm still under there and I have to stop. I'm gonna stop. No more no, I don't want to stop. You know, you don't have to stop. That's the important thing we'd like to point out here. This is a push your luck game. But um, I don't, I don't like going that far. Okay, so who did not explode your potion? Raise your I hand. I did not. So you not stop and play. Woo! I get a pumpkin. Why don't pumpkins do things? What do you get? One victory point. One victory point. Yay! Yay! Okay. So then the next thing to check: Did anybody buy a black thing? You did, but it didn't come out. Right. Yep. Did anybody have a green one that's near the end of their potion? No. Nope. And we have no purple ones yet because they're not out on the table. Yep, so. Next step then is how many get a gem? Did nope. you finish on the gem one? Me neither. And then, so how many victory points did you get? Two. I also got two. How much money did you get though? Ten only. I got twelve and I want this thing. I'm going to buy the blue I too. Like, I'm just going to buy yellows and blues. That's my new strategy. I'm gonna buy every color. Ooh! No. So I put this in my bag. Are you? Have you anything to else you wanted to buy? No, you get a free fill of your flask for free. Oh yeah, our flask! Woo! So the flask is really handy, but I always forget it's there. You know that kind of way. It's like flask. Mm. So okay, so everything goes back in the bag. We move up the notch. Yeah. Now the so now the purples are in play. You can put it over here on my side if you want. Okay, so, then on the purple set, you get a bonus. Yeah, so you play one purple, you get one point. If you play two of them, you'll get one point and a ruby. And if you play three, you get two points and you get to move your droplet. Yeah. That's pretty good. So, finally, some ratting is going to come into play. So, I do believe. Gonna, so, rats, you get one rat's tail. Look, there's a lovely little rat's tail. Yeah. And for each rat tail between the players, you get that many extra spaces for free at the start. So, so how many spaces? Just one. Just one rat. So basically it means if you're behind, you're not completely out of the game. I think it's a lovely no. ca- catch-up mechanism. What good okay. things are happening? Choose. Else? Take four victory points or remove one white, one chip from your bag. So I, I am the star player. Okay, you're the star player. Because it's not hard So I will remove a one white from my chip. You're going to remove the one white? Yeah. See, if I take the four victory points, I catch you. I don't think it's worth removing the one. I'd rather remove the three. <laughs> <laughs> well, one is not the worst. I think I'll take the victory points. Are you sure? Yeah, because I know exactly what's in my bag. So, so there's the rat tail between me and you. Yes. So, so wait, do we? So does the rat tail happen before or after this card? 
I would think after before. Should I check the rule book? Check the rule book. See, we're going to be really good about this. We'll check the rule book. If I were a rule book, I would be here. Yeah. Here we go. That might actually mean something. Yeah, I think the right sales happen after the fortune. Tells. I thought they happened before. So, so how to play fortune teller cards at the beginning of every turn. Just then, once the fortune has been made, rats come into play. Oh, rats are after the fortune teller. Cool. So there we go. Now we know something new. So I don't get the rat no more. You do. Yeah. I lost my rat. That's fair. At least now we know. At least now we know. Look, we played it correctly, people. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> we've, decided, we've, we've decided to no longer live in doubt. <laughs> okay, so um, shall we make our potions? Yeah. Awesome. I hope. One. Okay. My good start. Well, blue two. Oh, right. I, got a, I got a blue two. So wait, so my blue two then says... Yeah, draw two from your bag. Draw two from my bag. And you may place one of them. Okay, I drew two from my bag. I'll place the pumpkin. You know, what, you, you know what's really good? A blue two into it like a blue two. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like comboing these things together. What's next? Oh, cool. <laughs> so, actually, yeah. One, two, three. So I'm still good. Do, 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 do. <laughs> nope. One. So this is the kind of game that you can play with loads of players and it won't take any longer. Because everyone's time, everyone's turn is at the same time, which I really, really love. I saw a photograph actually on Instagram of an eight-player game with this, where they had two copies of the game, yes. um, and it looked insanely, really insanely cool. So three and two makes five. I can still draw a two and not explode my potions. Mm. I drew the two. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop. I I'm do stopping. Uh, that's yeah, enough no, potions. You know what? We're very kind of non-dangerous quacks. Us. We're kind of like, yeah. I don't know. Subtle quacks. Okay, so the first question, of course, is did your potion explode? No. Then roll, the, then roll them bones. Two victory points Point. for you. Yeah. What do I get? I would like... Not that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so has anybody got a black one? You yes. do. So, so what happens? I move my drop it forward one and I get a ruby. Oh, yeah, you do. Because you've more than me. Yeah. Okay, has anybody got a green one near the end? No. No, my green one's way in the middle. And then, has anybody got a purple one? Well, nobody bought one yet, so nope. no. Okay, rubies. Anybody get one? No. Nope. Bleh. I get two victory points. I get three. And then how much money you got? Eleven. I got fourteen. I want a blue two. <laughs> I get Nelly, to go first. Oh, okay, go on. Uh, what do you want? I take blue two. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't have an original thought without me. No, it's like... A blue it? two. Oh my god, where's the two? There's one. So I want a blue two. I have 14 money. So that actually, I actually have four left over, so I will buy a green one as well. You can buy as much stuff as you have money for, correct? Yeah. Correct. So we got our victory points. We spent our stuff. If you have any gems right now, you could flip your potion over or move your droplet up one. But nobody, you have only one gem. They, they have gems only work in pairs. Okay, yeah. so we move up the marker. Yeah. We're getting closer. Fortune cards. Middle of the thing. Oh yeah. Choose one. Move your droplet forward two spaces. I take a one purple chip. Ooh. I'm going to move forward. Move the my droplet. forward my droplet. <laughs> you're the first person. So you yeah, I'm moving forward my droplet. There was no question there. Not yeah. one. Not ever. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready? All right. Let's set. Explode. I thought you liked explosions, Brian. Yeah. Alright. Hey, it's a blue. But well, I supposed to not look at them and walk away calmly. Oh, okay. Can you do that with your own potion? So I get to look at two things with my blue two. I'll play the pumpkin. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> Are you going to keep going? Yeah, there it goes. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I'm not having a good... I'm not having a good potion day. You know what? That'll be balanced out by some amazing potion day next. You'll see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe you just need to, like, buy wisely. Uh, we'd like to also point out that this is the base yeah. that, that this is the basic version of your player boards we're playing with, and also that this card up here is for the two player version only. That yeah. black one. On the other side, there's the multiplayer version. Yeah, because it'd probably Which... be silly otherwise. What's it do on the other side? Is it the same? You just compare yourself to the person to the left, left and right. or right of you. Yeah, which really doesn't work in two players, does it? Well, it's exactly. One, two. Now they all come up once. I'm up to four, so I don't it's... want another one. <laughs> Oh, yeah, pumpkins. I wish there was something up there that did something with pumpkins. Red does. You're right. I probably should do something with my pumpkins. Ah, there we go. I think that's the end of my shenanigans. 
two, three, four, five. Yeah, now you will not cross that line. Right. Although you've already exploded. Yeah. This might be my chance to go further. But yeah. Yeah, exactly. This is the time. Yeah. Yeah, if you were ever going to go for it, there's not a lot of things left in the bottom of my bag, and one of them is like a three something. So here we go. Oh, I'll take that because it'll get me a gem. <sighs> I know, I, I live such a risky life. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, whose potion did not explode? Your, a. Your, what was that? You, your potion exploded? Mm. <gasps> I, feel, I feel your pain. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and those missing eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, droplet. Whoop, whoop. Well, would you like it? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I think I've seen the color gem. Wow, that was, that, okay, that was straight up lousy. <laughs> and I've got the white. The you know white what? Normally I feel sympathy for you, but you're going to beat me anyway, so I have no sympathy you for you. You won't last time played this. Um, true, but I think I was cheating. <laughs> okay, so next step. Has anybody got a black one? No. No. Has anybody got a green one? Because I believe do. I do, so I get a... Ruby. Ruby! Okay, so what's next then? Um, purple one? No. no. Do I get a ruby? I get a ruby. I get a ruby. This is so cool. I have a whole two now, of them. Because my potion exploded, I have to choose between victory points yeah. and money. I'm going to choose money. Money is important when so you're behind. you get behind. three victory points, so one, two, three. Yeah, you don't get victory points, but I get lots of rat tails next turn to do catch up yeah, with. So, so that's 13. good. So what, are you the active player or am I the active, you're player? the active player? We're pretty bad at remembering who the active player is, and it's mostly because the turns just kind of happen together. Yeah. And you don't really fight for things. You know what I mean? It's not like, oh, you, I have to get there before you. So screw active playerness. If there was more than two of us, yeah, maybe we'd care, but we don't care right now. So where are you blowing your money's on? I am going to buy a pumpkin and something that costs 10. A pumpkin and something that costs 10? I'm going to buy a yellow too. Yeah. Okay. So I have 15 monies. So I could buy not everything i wanted oh, i'm gonna spend by two rubies to turn my potion over 15 what could i do with it 15 oh i'll buy a single blue and a two red that's 15 right yeah so, yeah there we go because i've decided that i'm gonna make use of these pumpkins okay, um one second now. no i have two rubies yeah so this time it means i'll spend them to move my droplet forward. Yeah. Whoops. Cool. And then one moment we'll put everything back in the bag. Okay, move the thing goes up, doesn't it? To six. It's oh no, cool. five. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, okay, cool. You're so way in better. This round, you can put the first white chip you draw back in the bag. Into the bag. You I don't like have that. to, you can choose it. You you in this round, yeah, you may. There is two rat sails between us. Oh yeah, so you get your rat tail. Yes, in the right rat order. Tails, <laughs> yeah, they rat should have their own T V show yeah. with the rat tails. Um, I have to say the fake cards in this game are really fun. There's never one I've gone, oh, that was really, really crappy. They're always really good. Yeah, first white one, that's going back. It's only, is it, if you, you may put the first, first white chip. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think we're all going to do this, are we? <laughs> they love you. I'll put back my one. That's, that's two blue, so I get to draw two. Oh, I drew one anyway. <laughs> yeah. It's always the way. So there you go, Nettie, two blue into two blue. Oh, that's so sexy. <laughs> Card draw. Woo! Chip draw. No, it was a chip draw. What's it called? Card advantage. Chip advantage. Chip advantage, yeah. Ooh. Oh, wait, so my red thing's going to do something. I don't have to put it I'd like to point this out. My red thing's going to do something there. I advance this. one space. Yes. Oh, champion. Good job, pumpkin. I knew my pumpkin would do something good for me eventually. <laughs> I draw two of these. If the chip previously played was white, which it was not. <laughs> They never work out the way they're supposed to. Don't they look like teeny tiny trains? Yes. Like, 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 you know, the ends well, are headed from to... from Harry Potter. They're which? The mandrakes from Harry Potter. The mandrakes, you mean? Mandrakes. Mandrakes. Ah, mandrakes. mandrakes. They're the things that scream when you pull them out of the ground. Yeah. They've been used for a long time in witchcraft and wizardry. Yeah. I don't know, they look like a root. I drew a blue two. Woo hoo hoo hoo. So, as the blue twos, we're going to take... Neither of those. <laughs> and just, yeah, I'm gonna stop. It can be sometimes quite difficult to find everything in your bag and then to pull out specific kind of ones as well. Although I have seen some absolutely beautiful 3D printed covers for these to make it easier to pull them out. Um, no hinting at anybody I know who owns a 3D printer. Who would own a 3D printer? Oh yes, one, two. <sighs> now we get two of these. Because they are quite small tokens. I think I'll take the one blue, yeah. which I only get to re look at one this time, right? Yeah, yeah. I can choose where to put that sauce. Nice. Yeah. It'll go out because it's a pumpkin. <sighs> where, where are your whites? Just... Shh, shh, they're, they're haggling in the corner of my bag. 
Well, there's one there. So one, two. So now I'm up to three of them. Oh no! Three I know, of... sho shockingly large number. I'm getting, I only have one red thing. I only bought one red thing, didn't I? I have yeah. to start investing in red. This is like a stock market game. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm at one, two, that's four. I can do one more. Don't try and eat chocolate while we're filming. One, two. Because we'll be noisy, won't we? Um, I know. Yeah. We'll eat them soon. Okay, so that's me stopped. Yeah, you're way ahead of me. Yeah, that was a really good round for me. Like, look at that. That was kind of ridiculous. Okay, so, so, did you explode? No. So, yeah. I'm about to play. Doesn't matter. Get it's a pumpkin. pumpkin. Yes! I wanted more pumpkins. I need more red cards now. I'll get pumpkins too. See, we all have pumpkins. Cool. So, I have a black one, so I advanced my droplet and get a ruby. Ooh, that's really good. What was that one from your. Oh, yeah, your black thing. I really need to get in on those black things. So, green one, I don't have a green one at the end. You don't have a green I one. I don't have a green end. one at the end. I don't have a purple either. Purple. No. So, ruby. Do you have a ruby at the end? No. I can't even see what the end of this is anymore. It just looks like one giant circle. Okay, no rubies for me. So, 50 points. I get four. I get six. 15. And you get 21. Yeah, and then I get 21 monies, and I'm going to blow them all on blue. Yeah. I get 17 monies. Oh, no, wait. I wanted red. The red was really good with all those oranges. Yeah. Hang on, so how much money do we have again? 21. So if I take 16 away for this, I'm left with 5, which is enough to buy one blue or another orange. <laughs> one blue, because it'll find me the oranges. <laughs> money is... Is it a little bit like card drafting this a little bit? You know, like you're building your deck. Yeah. Except obviously it's a bag builder, but it's got that kind of vibe, doesn't it? Where I want so many of these in my deck to be able to find so many of these, and then there's the random element of, you know, what's in the bag. Kind of, yeah. Mm. So I am going to buy a blue two, since that's all the rage, because I can't afford the blue four. Oh. Uh, but, uh, so that leaves me with seven left, so I'm going to buy a green one and an orange one. Oh, that's not bad. You still did good with the monies. Okay, so that's all the shopping done. Have you any gems you'd like to trade in, sir? No. Me okay. neither. I'm going to put stuff back in my bag. Do, 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 and I'll move up the turn marker. Oh, we're going to get one of the cherry blossoms into our yeah. bag this round. So apparently, you know, I clean up my bag and stuff. I'll get a one cherry blossom. There we go. Um, this is strong. As you can see that, you know, which each round you go through, there are some of them have advantages or disadvantages that you have to take into account, even when you don't want to. If you reach a scoring space with a ruby this round, get an extra ruby. Ooh, so we can have double ruby goodness. So there's three rats there, yes. Yep. Here we go. Nope. No, that was not a particularly strong start there, Nettie. See, this is the problem. I'll have one good round and then it'll all fall apart. <laughs> like so. <laughs> Allow me to demonstrate. Allow me to demonstrate. Although your turn earlier really was chronic. Yeah, one, two, happens. three, four. Of course, I draw my big four now. They don't do anything with the white ones. Nope. One pumpkin. Harder. Okay, blue two. So blue two into blue two, please. Oh, another pumpkin. Okay, green one. Mhm. Mm there we are. Oh. Okay, one two. Yeah, that's, That's five. But I could. Uh, yeah, I could get away with this. I'm saying, don't need, don't draw the two. Now we're in trouble. Will I get it a ruby? No, I'll work to get the ruby. Put this back. I'll use my potion. Putting that yeah. one away. Because if I can get at least one ruby, I can get two to replace my potion. Mm -hmm. That's my strategy, and we're sticking with it. Yeah, one, Just two. a strategy. Hey, there's a white thing behind this one now. Yeah. So you can put I can put it back in the bag. That oh. was so good. <laughs> Let's get richer. I, just, I love this game. The one for you. Okay. I just have to be sure I landed a ruby. That's the goal. Look. I always accidentally like pull out two things out of it. I just gonna have to push. One, two. Oh really? You're gonna you're gonna break it. I've got a blue two. I've got a blue two into a blue two. Well, there's very little left in my bag. I got a blue two into a red two. Now what's my red two do? Okay. My red two says. So five. So. If there's an already orange there. chips in your pot, I have two orange chips in my pot, so I can move my red one an extra one. Yes. Yep. There we go. Um. I probably shouldn't have, but I have plenty of space yet. I have to get to that next yeah. movie. Yeah, there's white on the two uh, anyway. One, two. So still four, so we're still good. Just, I just don't want to draw the three because I want to stop at the ruby. Ooh. 
I suppose that ruby's not that far away. We'll get to that one. I need a double ruby. And out of this, we get to pick two. Oops. Oh. No, catch it, boob. There we go. I will play this one. And I'm not going to get anything out of the bag. Cause you I, should continue. Go for I the... suppose I can. I only have 21 cards. Yeah. 21 thing. So no. So, yeah, because I have two, three, four. Oh my god, I can't keep going. <laughs> I'm going to run out of actual things. One. So now I'm at one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Now I can't go any further. I shouldn't have bothered putting out the one. Why did you tell me to go further? Because I. Because why? Because why you wanted to ruin it for me? I go for it again. Go for it. get the white three. If I the... see the three, I'm screwed. Yeah. Two, or well, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how much is left in your bag. Yeah, but I did. You should never listen to your opponent. No, but I just don't think you need to offer your free opinions. <laughs> I dug anyway, got one more. So I'm still okay. I'll have to stop there now. And it means I don't get the double rubies like a plant. Yeah. See? Yeah, business is fine. No, you just don't need to be so takey overy. <laughs> Eh, if I want to have a game, I can have it. No, that's not the case. It's not very fair to anybody else playing because I lost, the, the, got whatever I wanted to do. Anyway, I suppose you're the active player. No, you're the active player, so you went. Oh, okay. I'm glad you can tell. Yeah. I am an active player after all. Now, so, technically, I'll allow you to reroll that if you want to reroll that. Well, you see, normally how we do is we balance another die on top of it. Hang on, there's a dice in here. <laughs> Okay, so is that's always been the rule in our house. If you can balance another die on top of it, it's not cocked. Uh, the die is on top of it. I would say I don't that. want two victory points, but I think that's actually legit. I just re it. No, we, this was the agreement. It's given to two victory points. We did the, we did the home the home brew test. The home brew test. Oh. <laughs> okay, that deserves a re-roll. Careful to move the marker. Okay, you get one, one victory, victory point. point. Yeah. Okay, so black, so I get to advance one and get a ruby. Nice. Green. Um, it's nowhere near me. Uh, no one near No me. one bought purples, did they? No one bought purples okay. and rubies. No one gets rubies. Yes, no one points. does get rubies. I get seven victory points. And Nettie, how many do you get? I get eight. Eight. So you move well into the lead. Mm, not really. And then I have 23 spending monies. That's a lot of two. spending monies. 20... Three, so that would leave seven. That would leave five. Okay, who's picking first? Me. Yeah. So I'm taking the four from the yellow and one from the five from the I blue. Red four and two pumpkins. That's twenty-two. I really should go for those reds, but we'll worry about them later. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, so is uh, anybody spending rubies? I spent two rubies to refresh my potion. Cool, and then we get to move this thing up. Yeah. And we'll read. And how many rat tails different are there between? Four. So we do, well, we'll do in a minute. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll see what the lady says first. What's the fate? The person with the fewest fifty points gets a free one green chip. What? Cheated. Cheated. She is. Although you did have that one terrible turn. Yeah. Oh, I could have had two rubies. Anyway. I also exposed my potion. Okay, so we're nearly there. So only two more turns to go through. Are you all yeah. set? Everything's yeah. done? Let's Everything's start done. to start the turn. Good stats. I always look at it and I'm like, should it go this way or this way? Yeah, one, two, three, four. It's a shame you've nothing good with you, but I'll take it. One. I'm pretty sure these blues are like my favourite ones. One, two, and because there's another orange. Red one, four, three. so I'll go next one, so red five. So one, two, three, four, five. Well, it's so interesting the fact that none of these cards ever do anything with the white chips themselves, that there's no way to manipulate things inside of the bag. You know, once they've gone in, that's it. But you know, there's no way to erase things out of the bag, I mean. Well, the yellow one helps you deal with white chips. Yeah, but that's no, but let's say I put in too many green or not green ones, let's say um, pumpkins. Yeah. And I'd rather there were less. There's, you know, that's the one thing kind of the place the game doesn't go yeah. is manipulating the bag itself. It's just you get this fillet so four. So maybe the expansion. Yeah, maybe to... I, it's got witches on the cover, I can't wait. And we all love a good witch, and there's not enough witch games. Witch trials. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not a game about witch trials, it's an expansion about witch trials. So there's a chip, no it was not, so two, three, four, up to five, 
five. I could take a two, but not a three. Okay, we'll chance it. Oh, thank God, one, two. And then we get a peek at the two. Oh, it's a pumpkin. Well, you could drop the tree at any time. I could. I'm not listening to a word you say anymore. Okay. Yeah. I'm stopping. Because two, um, three is five, and I could draw the two. I could, I might want to, but the three could just really. That's probably what we carried on. Yeah, but um, I don't play the same way you do. I'm a different player, in fact. Yeah, I don't have to do everything the exact same way you do. No. Okay, so first things first, you're player one, aren't you? Yeah. So did your potion explode? It did that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So Off you go. Well, that's two victory points. Yeah. And one moment. My potion did not explode. Did it not? Nope. And I get a droplet. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Much better. Cool. Okay, so now my droplet moves forward and I get ruby. That's from your black um, yeah, black. chip. Yeah. Green. I have green within the last two, so I get ruby. I don't have green within the last two. Um, so then, um, victory points. I get six. Did you finish the ruby? No. No, I told you I had no rubies. I get eight. So six. You're not eight. Oh, yeah, six. Six for mm -hmm. you. Yeah, and then eight. Eight for me. Okay, cool. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, oh, because uh, I got the two victory points. And I got 20 monies, so I'm going to get... Um, four monies. A red, a red two, and a blue two. I'm going to get a red Is there anything four. better than an entire deck just made of blues? What happens if you run out of like a particular token type, it, for instance? That's why they declare all that matters. Matters, yeah. Okay, so I'm in bag. a second. I'm going to put everything else in my bag while you keep shopping, okay? Because so I have no rubies to spend. And I have no That way. I'll be so good to buy in. There we go. Yeah. I could do... Yeah, and I buy two red twos and a orange so, one. So you have 23 money. 24. Okay, cool. So can you see it's another two? I don't know. There we go. And a ten. Yeah, that's it. Into the bag. And, yeah. Cool. So I'll move this thing along. Yeah, I'll get Onto the card. Onto the card. We'll put your stuff away first. Your grand. So you can trade one ruby for any one chip. Did you want to spend your rubies at the end of the turn, by the way? To flip your potion back. I just forgot. No, you can do it now. It's still the end of the turn. Yeah. I told you to stop and do your stuff first before you flip the yeah. card, but you know. See, I'm see. not your master. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, I can choose what to do. Okay, so what is it? You can trade one ruby for any one chip, not purple or black, but I don't have a ruby, so it doesn't apply to me. So here we go. Second to last round. How far yeah. will our potions go? All right, so rat sales is two. Yeah, you got your rat sales and we got the cards at the start of the round. Yeah, yeah? cool. Perfect. Pumpkins. It's mm. okay. <laughs> Already? So one, yeah, two, I should three. Yeah, for the first one. Jeez. <laughs> oh, God. I can have one, and I can think. Maybe you should have just, you know, built your deck better, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, I'll put that in. Oh, two, a one into a one. one. Oh, I'm just... Nope, oh, not like that. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Ooh, one, two, three, four. But there's nothing behind you. How far are we going to make it? We can make it after all. Do you feel any tension as we do this bit? No. No, you no. you don't you don't get the tension of kind of how far can you get? No. One, two. One, two, three, four, two. and there are two reds, two, so it's plus one. Oh, oh. <laughs> you can... Investing in blue was a good investment, okay. especially since it's the only way you get any real choice of what comes out of the bag most of the time. Two, so I'm at three okay, now. I'll stop there. You sure? Because well, I'm at seven. See how far ahead I'm at? One, two, three, four, yeah, actually, hang where I five, am. six. Five, six, right? Because the two oranges? No, one, two oranges is one. Cool, that's right. Check on that. I only moved that one, one. Yeah, that's right. That one's yeah. cool, right, too. Well, yeah, you've one orange right yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I've, right. No, I've, well, I've one behind it, but I've two behind the next one. So, yeah. yeah. I forgot that one and two are, in fact, the same. Two, three, four. So, yeah, I can go another bit. Yeah. 
five, six. <laughs> That's where we stop. Yep. Yep. Okay. Two, four, six. Yeah. So, so I first did and did who exploded? Not me. Cool. Me neither. Two victory points, blacks. And there you go, right there. One, two. I got a ruby. That's pretty good. I want a ruby. Then I black, have... so I get the ruby. I drop it and get a ruby. Yep, that's true. Green. Green. I, I didn't get. I didn't get any at the end. No one's bought any purples. Nope. I have a ruby at the end of my track. So do you? I finally get one ruby. I really want to just have my potion back before the end of the next <laughs> for the next yeah. round. Next round is the important yeah, round. Yeah, I know. And then, so how many victory points do you get? So you eight. eight. So eight for you first is forty-seven, and eight for me is mm -hmm. forty-one. Awesome. And then, how much money do you have to spend? Twenty-four. Exactly the same. Do we end up in the same spot? Yes. Yes, we did. Okay, yeah. 24. Um, and one, okay, one red for this man. Yeah, no, I'm going to play it safe. <laughs> I have no gems to hand in, so I, I don't get to do any of these trendy things. Do you okay. want to do your trendy things first and then keep shopping? Well, I'm going to renew my potion. Yeah. There you go, that's my base. Now continue shopping. Uh, we'll do things slightly out of order while I pick everything up. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a red two, because there's one available. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And a red, actually, second. No, and then I'm gonna buy four oranges. You have 12 to spare. But that's 10. Yeah. Actually, I buy one of these. Because so you have 24. 15, so 15. So you have nine left now. And I buy three oranges. Okay, fair enough. That's true. I'd like to point out, actually, um, I'm not sure if I've actually said already that we're playing with the basic version of the game. That there, there is. I mentioned it in this video. We did, yeah. Yeah, we, I swear we haven't had to attempt this before now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, which is fine. I didn't get another ruby to put my thing back. Oh. It's really sad. I got to buy it in my life. Now, what's interesting with the last round, first I'll move everything up, um, flip over our fate, and then we'll do the rack set. Gets to roll the dice, rolls twice. Any player gets to roll the dice, rolls twice. It's That's tree, pretty good. There's a tree in between us. Tree in between us. So this is the final round, which um, technically, so we're supposed to play together. Simultaneously. Simultaneously, that's yep. the word. Um, so that you can basically see it, how close he is to busting or whatnot, yep. how far you want to go. So we do it one at a time. Red two. One. Pumpkin one. Next. Pumpkin one, right after the red one. Oop, blue two, so give me a minute. I have to dig for two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'll take the yellow four. Really? Yeah. I'm further along the track than I was really Orange one. Orange so, one. So and then I get orange one. One cherry blossom. Oh, one red one. Which just becomes two. Yeah. Oh no, it's one, isn't it? So there's two. only it is two. Yeah. One, two, yeah. Green one, which is nothing. I get a a cherry blossom. One. Yeah, cherry blossom two. I get a pump a uh, red one too. One, two, and which goes another uh, two. two. No, one. One. Because... Then why Why did the last one get to go further then? It didn't I to... asked you about what does it move? There was two, there's two behind this. There's one plus one, so... So it should be here. Yeah. This should be here. And that should be back with another one. No, is that yeah. correct? Yeah. Okay. So you need three to get plus two. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Cherry blossom. Oh, I got four. One, two, three, four. And, and there are plus one. Yeah. Okay, so that goes back in the bag. <laughs> oh, you're already at the bag point, are you? Okay, yeah. I draw I draw the three. One, two... Um, did I skip around? Um, three. Actually, I'll keep the three. One, two, three. Because at least I know it's not in the bag. Well, you don't have a potion to put it back. It's true. I forgot my potion's dead. Yeah. It's been dead pretty much all game. So oh, I'm at four. So two. then so I'm one, one, two. Yeah. So I'm at three, and one is four, and two is six. Yeah. Now the question I have actually is, can I um can I just watch you keep going and then I uh, then continue? So um, draw a different thing. Forget. Do we me. do we have to like do we have to keep going simultaneously? One second. If no, once you stop, you stop. Yeah, once you stop, you stop. You pull your hand out of the bag, but no. Chips, yeah, yeah I get you. Okay. Um, the odds of me hitting. So this is why I'm taking it. Excuse me, I'm debating if I'm taking anything. 
I have a lot of chips in my bag. I can survive a one, but not a two. Two, yep. Two would pretty much guarantee that you'd lose. No, can't. yeah, no, two would guarantee I'd lose because I know where I'm. I'm going to take one more. You're going to take one more? Say a prayer. Well, no, you won't. Okay, that's good. Purple one and blue one, which allows me to see what's in here. Yep. Please give me something decent. A red two, which gets plus a two. A blue two, <laughs> which goes digging yeah, for yeah. two. I'll take the red two. Which Cut. is plus one, so three. Yeah. Another one. There we go. Yeah. Another two. So. Then this is the glass to keep going. How far are you around? I'm only at 23. I am and I'm at 20. And you have a I'm on five point lead. I'm going to regret it. Go on, I'll do one more. Yeah. Yeah, got another one out of it. That'll do. I think that was me pushing my luck enough. Two, which we get another plus two. Because I four. You're going to keep going? Uh, well, I have to, because what do you think? I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I, I have to get as far as the 30. Okay, so if you say so. Um, uh, that does not look healthy for anybody. Because what? I'm so, yeah, I'm so many points behind you, I have to go for it. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because I'm six points behind you, so. Okay. Well, blue two, that's good. That is very good. That's a little too good, some might say. Some might say. Ooh, nice. Um, the green in, yeah. So what am I on? I'm now on 29. How far will you go? How important is the prize? But you have to catch up 650 points, so it's, I literally, I need, mm -hmm. I actually need to hit here, at least. Probably even mm -hmm. further. So on one. Yeah. I will go like yeah there's there boss. it is there's yeah, the boss well yeah. we'll go through the thing anyway yeah. you still get victory points so, so you the my dice am i wrong my yeah i get my dice twice <laughs> yay <laughs> 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 the one time i wanted the victory points you didn't give them to me that's you that. don't roll the die yeah, stop it you yeah. okay so next up does anybody have any black chips why are you I didn't even draw the black chip to get the ruby that I needed yeah. because of the point. No, okay, so then green chips. I actually ended on a green chip so I get a ruby. Yeah. Okay. Hey, that actually had a use for once and uh, no one has any purples. So rubies, I ended not on a ruby. I didn't end on a ruby, ruby. Okay, so then um, victory points. I get 13. Cool, I get 10. And the interesting point about this round is that your money becomes victory points okay. because it's the last round. So it's five, isn't it, for each? Yes. Yeah, so so I get five. four. Or, oh, yeah, five, five victory points. points from having 26 money. Yeah. Okay, and then we get to the bit. So I'll turn in two gems for another victory point. Yeah. So even if I had... Is that everything? So, yeah, so even if I hadn't busted, mm -hmm. yeah. I still would have been shocked. You had one really awful turn, though. I, to be fair, no, you had yeah. some that were just shocking, uh, shockingly bad. I think I also, did well. You should, you, should have, you should have stopped way back. <laughs> I'd also like to point out that maybe I just drafted better than you did. Oh, yeah. I did better drafting. Yeah. So we hope you enjoyed um, watching us play the Quacks of Quidlinburg. Um, yeah, it was, oh, I love this oh, game. Great game. Yeah, this is a fantastic game. You should, if you haven't played it already, you should probably definitely try it out. Yeah. Um, and thank you so much for joining us here with Board Game Inquisition. Hopefully, we'll do another playthrough soon if this one goes down positively or like the bomb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Um, and until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and annoying Brian over the kind of choices he offers me during the game. <laughs> yeah, she should always listen to me. Yeah, always. Always <laughs> obey your husband. Hey! Hey. All right, take care, everybody. And bye your bye. wife. Okay, and your wife. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. bye.